Hey guys, welcome back to RV Philosophy. What I'm doing in today's video is I'm troubleshooting a problematic battery bank. I have six AGM batteries that will not go up to full charge on, on my charge controller. Um, so they always have for the last six months and all of a sudden the last three days in full sun with my panels, my solar panels, they just can't reach anywhere near full charge they're only hitting about 13.3 volts 13.4 volts whereas full charge is 14.4 volts and uh, my charge controller holds that charge for an hour long uh, before it goes into the maintenance charge uh, duty cycle um, so i know there is an issue so what i'm doing to troubleshoot that is unfortunately i have to tear down the entire battery bank i had uh, six AGM of these interstate power care batteries in here So I'm tearing it all down one by one as you can see, you know I'm, I'm halfway through it right now and I'm taking them all apart and I'm running them over here to my truck and What I'm gonna do is once I get them all out here I'm gonna go ahead and label each one with their different uh, current charge status whatever the voltage is and then I'll go ahead and check that in the morning. Whatever battery drops the most overnight loses voltage, we'll say from 13 volts down to 12 and a half volts, uh, then I'll know that is the culprit that's not holding the charge and is sucking all the other batteries down. Uh, okay guys, so I got my six AGM batteries uninstalled from my battery bank, and now I'm gonna go ahead and test the resting voltage and I'm going to write it down on a piece of paper after the video and then I'm going to come back in the morning and test it again each individual battery so I can figure out which one seems to be bleeding off what is the weak battery as you can see this one is 12.79 that's full charge this one is 12.8 volts that's full charge this one is 12.8 volts that's also full charge so we're halfway through here let's figure this out yes that's my phone right there so i can see what i'm actually recording <coughs> this battery is 12.81 volts that is full charge This one is 12.8 volts, that's also full charge. And this one is also 12.8 volts. That is full charge. So what we're gonna do here is, you know, I have each of these numbered. As you can see, this is number six, this is number one, um, this is number five. I will come back in the morning and test each battery being they're all full charge right now at 12.8 volts i'll see which one has dropped the most or has lost the most charge for example if i come back and they're all still 12.75 ish volts but one of them is 12.5 volts that means one of them is going bad um, so i'll know which one to remove from the battery bank and replace or just delete uh, because one of these batteries going bad will if left if left unchecked will kill the entire battery bank and where i'm sitting right now um this only started happening three days ago it would not reach full charge whereas it always would beforehand so it's a relatively new phenomenon so it's either the batteries or it's some type of issue with the charge controller but i really don't think it's the charge controller um because it's still functioning normally uh, when I plug it into my laptop, everything, all the parameters seem fine, but it really could be. But I'm really thinking it's one of these uh, AGM batteries. So we'll go ahead and find out, and uh, I'm going to check back in with you in 12 hours in the morning. Thanks. Okay, so it's the morning the next day here. I went ahead and tested each of these batteries um, with this uh, Medtronics battery tester here. And what I found, lo and behold, was the six number six battery I went ahead and numbered them all before I pulled them only has 785 cranking amps even though it uh, it's showing 12.72 volts which is a full charge for a 12 volt battery um, 
all these other batteries are showing 1400 cranking amps so there's something going on in the six number six battery here uh, that's not allowing this battery tester to see all the available cranking amps so i don't know if there's a plate going bad in there or one of the cells is starting to go i'm not sure um, so i'm going to go ahead and pull that battery from the battery bank and use this guy this battery minder plus uh, maintenance charger desulfator um, i'm going to plug it in at a friend's house leave it on there for a week see if it can't recover this battery and bring it back to full snuff Okay, so after getting the bad battery removed, I went ahead and installed these four batteries back in for right now. In under two hours, the entire battery bank went to full charge in the morning sun, hit 14.5 volts, stayed there for one hour, and then came down to the float charge that it's doing right now. You can see in the bottom corner here it says float, which is simply a maintenance charge cycle. So that was definitely my problem. One bad battery in the bank. Um, was just drawing, drawing all the power, drawing it down. Now, had I not taken the bad battery out, which was number six, which was right here, it would have continued to draw down all these other batteries, not let them reach full charge, not let them have the proper maintenance cycles, um, full charge cycles, and it would eventually killed that one battery would have killed the entire battery bank. This is a good point of why you should always watch your battery bank, watch your charge controller, make sure that you're reaching full charge whenever the sun's out. And if you're not, that's how I picked it up. I realized three days in a, three days in a row I hadn't reached anywhere near full charge. So I knew something was wrong. So I went ahead and pulled it all down. Sure enough, one of the batteries was bad. So that's how I found and diagnosed my battery bank problem. And what to do, you got to remove the bat. It's like cancer. Pull it out and deleted it essentially so i'll figure out if i can get that battery replaced or if i can um i have a smart trickle charger desulfator expensive battery charger I'll, I'll run it on there for a week see if that takes care of it if that brings it back up to snuff on the battery tester not sure we'll wait and see thanks for watching guys and if you have a chance please subscribe and support the channel thank you much bye bye